wanted to make sure that you know the facts when it comes to commonly held beliefs. So today, we're putting our verify lens on this question. Can the cold give you a cold? You know, you've heard that a yeah. gazillion times, right? Maybe you've even said the change in weather is making me under the weather. Well, Kaylee Tracy's on your side tonight asking the experts, can drastic changes in temperatures actually contribute to making you sick? We know the signs and we've heard the symptoms. <coughs> A virus is running rampant across the office. Temperature does have a lot to do with these viruses. But just how much can the cold really give you a cold like some of our moms told us growing up? Weather does not cause these colds and flu, but you know, not the, the sole cause of these colds and flu is the viruses and then how they act in the colder weather. Uh, is the thing. They actually thrive in the colder weather. Meteorologist Mike Prangley says when the temperature drops below 41 degrees, the air becomes bone dry, allowing the viruses to attach to our nasal passages. These viruses tend to spread easier. They thrive. They love that cold, dry air. Whereas when the temperature gets above 41 in the warmer days, uh, they tend to be less active. Another reason you may feel sick when it gets cold, according to Dr. Mobeen Rathor at Baptist Medical, we're usually in close quarters inside. When it gets cold, what happens? You stay inside, you stay close together. And so if you have an infection, the potential of that infection being transmitted to somebody else increases. So that's really what is happening. You know, you're not out as much. In other words, we can verify you do have a higher risk of getting sick when the weather gets colder. Like any time of the year, both Prangley and Dr. Rathor say wash your hands and hydrate just like your mom told you growing up. Cover your cough, <coughs> right? If you use hand hygiene, good hand hygiene. You have these nice, good hand smelling hand sanitizers out there. We've got, yes, two, three different options. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.